Rendering with Mental Ray for Maya allows you to create a complete render without having to adjust too many settings to achieve a quality image. Open the Render Settings dialog and make sure the Render Using option is set to Mental Ray in the drop down menu. If it's not, select Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager from the main menu. Scroll to the bottom of the dialog and make sure the myatomer.mll bundle is turned on by clicking the Loaded and Auto Load checkboxes. Create a render by clicking the Render the Current Frame button in the main menu. Once the render finishes, you want to press the Keep Image button in the Render View dialog so you'll be able to compare your initial render to your future renders. The render you created looks good but appears flat since the shadows are not very dynamic. To improve this, Choose the Quality tab in the Render Settings dialog and change the Indirect Diffuse GI mode from Final Gather to On Go Prototype under the Advanced Light Sampling menu. Create a second render by pressing the Redo Previous Render button in the Render View dialog. Click the Keep Image button again and then click and drag the horizontal scroll bar that appears at the bottom of the Render View dialog to compare your current render to your last render. Notice how the shadows have greatly improved and make the image appear much more dynamic. However, the overall quality of your current render still appears grainy. To resolve this, navigate to your Quality tab in the Render Settings dialog. Under the Sampling menu, turn the overall quality setting up from 0.25. The more you increase this setting, the better quality your render will be. However, this comes at a cost because your render time will increase greatly depending on how high you set the overall quality. For this lesson, Set the overall quality to 0.75 and create a new render. Press the Keep Image button again and compare your current render to your last render and notice how the quality is much higher. The Lighting Quality Attribute slider under the Advanced Overall Sampling can help smooth out render artifacts that are created from lighting, but it depends on the type of lighting you currently have set up. If you were creating a scene using Mila shaders to texture your models, you could improve the render quality by adjusting the settings under the Advanced Light Sampling menu since they are created specifically for Mila shaders. To give a brief overview on the rest of the tabs inside of the Render Settings dialog, you're going to look at the Scene tab. This tab contains elements that will be applied to the entire scene. These are settings that will be shared by all renderable cameras in the scene, such as metal ray passes. The Configuration tab has settings that control options related to machine recourses capability, as well as settings that use the GPU of your computer. The Diagnostics tab is where you can optimize your scene or resolve problems in your project. Adjusting the metal ray settings can allow you to customize and improve the quality of your renders.